Go. Hey y'all, welcome back to Squawks TV. On this episode, uh, I've had a request to do a carving, a turkey carving video. Uh, I am definitely not the go-to guy for carving, but uh, I'm still willing to show you how I do it. So uh, this turkey's been resting for over an hour, about 90 minutes, I guess. And it looks like we're down to uh, 145 and 151 respectively in the breasts. So it has come down 10 to 15 degrees. So all I'm gonna do is take the foil off. There's our bird, right? Looks good. Take my probes out and turn off my thermometer so it doesn't beep at me. And I'll clean that up later. Uh, we can take your foil off of the tips and the drumsticks, right? Looking pretty good. So I'm going to move this over there, put a little plastic cutting board down there. Paper towel helps it so it doesn't move. Okay, so then we'll take the bird. The bird is the word. We'll bring it over. It looks great. It looks wonderful. Okay, so then What we're going to do first is take the drumsticks and the thighs off. So the first thing you want to do is take that, if you got her twined up, you take that cooking twine off of there. And then she's pretty much resi ready. So the first thing I am going to do is take the wishbone out. So if M comes around to my side, we can kind of give you a close-up of what's going on here. All right, so the wishbone's in here, so I'll just cut just a little bit to expose that wishbone. It's right in there, right? You can feel it with your finger. So if you just bring your knife in there and you cut off one side, cut off the other side, then you got to come to the inside of the wishbone, all right? And this just helps it, helps the carving process. Okay, still got a little bit more to cut off. I told you I wasn't the go-to guy for this, but I'll share it with you anyway. I'm sure everybody's got way better ways to do it than me. Okay, there's one end of the wishbone. There's the other end. So see, I got both ends right there. And then you just gotta work at getting that top out. And bam, there's your wishbone. So you can clean off all that meat, dry it, and then do the, uh, you know, the competition where you do it with uh, your daughter who's won like 10 years in a row, mm -hmm. right, hon? Mm-hmm. Okay, so there you go. That takes out the wishbone. And we're done with that guy. So. What we're gonna do now is, I'm trying to get myself in a position where M can see the, the camera good. So we're just gonna hold one of these drumsticks and just start ever so gently, take that knife down, right? And I'm not really cutting anything but skin right now. So then you're gonna put your hand in here and you're gonna pull down on that. And you'll see, you can hear right get it down there and then you can start carving away a little bit and you see we got a that's the knuckle you're looking for right there so we'll come to the inside of that knuckle and come out with it like that right and then just start carving it down so you can cut it off bam beautiful right Okay, hold on one second here, let me... 
let me get one more cutting board up here to show you what's up. Okay, so there's our one leg. Put that board right there. So let's get the other leg. What do I do with my knife, man? There it is. Okay. So same thing with this one. I'll even do it left-handed so you can maybe get a better view. Or maybe this way, would that give you a better view? Mm -hmm. So you, you just come here, right? And just make one slice and it's just skin. See how that's all just skin right there, right? All just skin. So same thing. You're gonna wanna pull down, get your whole hand in there and you can hear it give. And now you just gotta find that, uh, You just got to find that joint again, and there it is, right there. Can you see the joint in the camera? Mm -hmm. There's that joint. Jesus. Apparently the washing machine is out of... I don't know if they picked that up on the camera, but about scared the Bee Gees out of Evan and I. I was like, where's that? Okay, so if you pull it apart, there you go. Oh, and your skin came off a little bit, but you can put it right back on there. And we can put it right back on over there. Now, before we get to the breasts, I wanna show you, so take, we'll take this guy and we'll turn it over and we'll start removing the drumstick from the thigh, right? And how you do that, there's another joint down there. See the joints? Right there. So just kinda find your way around that joint and this is where I am not very good. Because I kind of lose my patience, especially if it's turkey day, you know? Okay, so there's one. That came off pretty nice. We'll do the other one. Just start going down with it. Then you kind of pull it apart. And there's that joint. See the joints again? So we just want to... Want to get beyond those joints without cutting your thumbs off, and boom, a couple of nice drumsticks, right? And then you got your thighs. So you can just kind of what I normally do on Thanksgiving is I'll just pull pieces of meat off of the thighs, and then it's kind of torn uh, dark meat, which is fine. But you can also you find that bone there, right? We can also take this whole bone out. See, this bone right here goes all the way through to here, right? So if we just kind of rub our fingers in there, get your knife onto the side of the bone, get your knife onto the other side of the bone, and then we're making great progress, and that's all great meat. Don't cut towards your hand like I just did. Do what I say, not what I do. Okay, and then the bone's almost out of there. You can pull it the rest of the way. A little bit of meat comes with it. That's no big deal, right? There's your bone. Save all your bones, because your bones and your carcass is a great way to make your uh, turkey stock. So there you go. There is, oop, I left a little piece right there. Okay, that's out of there. So there's your thigh that everybody likes so much, right? So you can put your thigh down there and then I'll show you here. What do we have for time, Em? 9, 15. Yeah, we're doing okay. The breast goes really fast. Okay, so then if you have your thigh, right? You can just cut off some I figured we'd show you how to plate it too, in case anybody's curious about that. And again, this can all be done differently. Everybody does stuff different and that's okay. I'm sure there's easier ways to do this. I know there's harder ways because I've done harder ways. <laughs> okay, so that leaves some nice chunks with that. So I need them to back up. 
I'll get my platter over a little closer right there. And then we can take that fine meat and bring it over. And for right now, I'll just I'll put that thigh meat on that side. So there's some dark meat that looks okay, right? And then all this scrap stuff, it's all soup, man. It all goes into the soup pot, which I'll be making too. That's why we made this turkey was for soup. Okay, so let's do the other thigh. <clears throat> Get in there with your fingers, release that bone, all right? You can drag that knife along the bone. You can feel it. Right along the edge of that bone. Just that easy and it comes off. Now there's still some good meat there too, but that can go in your soup, in your, uh, soup pot, no problem. We'll put that over there. Okay, so recheck with your fingers. Make sure you didn't leave a chunk of bone like I did on the other one, right? The skin's not the best ever, but that's okay. And then uh, we'll cut some more chunks out of this guy. It wouldn't hurt to have a fork too. You know, people use a fork to hold stuff. I've just never been very good at a fork, so I don't use it. But maybe it's time I learned, huh? And sometimes it's a real bear to try to keep that skin on, you know? But... You do what you can, that's all you can do. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we'll put this thigh on this side. It doesn't look as nice as the first one, but that's okay. We're not winning any, uh, we're not going for appearance points or anything, okay? Then you got a couple of drumsticks. You can shave the meat off this if you like. But what I like to do is set it in the middle like so, right? Doesn't that look nice? That skin back up there because it's got such a beautiful bark on it. It looks great, right, Em? Mm -hmm. And then we'll do breast meat on each end. And for the most part, we'll be done then. Okay, so. <clears throat> trying to keep somewhat of a clear workstation here. Not doing a very good job. Okay, now the breast. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it over here. To do the breast, there's a bone right here called the keel bone that runs this whole way, right? And you just wanna, you wanna find that bone and then just come to the inside of it, like so, and just run your knife along the inside of that bone. Right, and when you do, maybe switch sides here. Thank you. When you do, get it from over here if you can. Uh, you just keep running your knife in there, right? Get your hands in there and just keep making long strokes with your knife. This isn't the perfect knife to be doing this with, but it's okay, we won't tell anybody. Okay, so you just keep pulling that off. Your skin might come off, that's not that big of a deal. Then you can take your knife here and make a horizontal cut into that bottom of that breast. And then you're almost, well, I almost got it all. I still left some meat on it as you can see, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so we got that breast. <clears throat> there's a wing down there too, right? Uh, I normally don't screw around with the wings, but let's screw around with it, see what we can do. So I'm just gonna kinda, kinda cut around the bone and then I can feel it just now give. So I'm gonna pull, right? And you can feel the bones in here. So we're gonna need to cut around those bones that you find. And there you go, a nice wing with some of that great meat right here. This is this is the cat's meow right there. Okay, so we'll put that wing up there too. And then, what time we got? 15. Holy moly. 
people ain't going to be watching this whole video. All right, so we come to the other side of the keel bone. Right? And then we just start pulling the breast off ever so gently because if we got uh, tender turkey, it'll want to break apart and you really don't want it to break apart. See how you can go way down there with that breast? Almost totally, totally taking it off. Come across the side, then we come back here and do that horizontal cut again. And that should be money. Money, there's a nice breast for you too. Okay, we'll get this other wing real quick. You start to get real in figuring out all the little bones and stuff. There's your other wing. There's your turkey soup. Okay. So now let's uh, let's take a look at these two breasts. Other look side. At the underside, huh? Other side. Uh, no, not, not yet. yet. Almost. Mm -hmm. You just want to feel. Make sure you didn't leave any bones or anything sticking out, and that looks pretty good there. Try to keep the skin if you can, because there's a lot of people that like the skin. We're not that big of a deal on it. Okay, so that one's good, so let me see if this one's good. We got a lot on this one. That was a good cut. So if there's something that you don't like, cut it off, put it in the soup pot. It all goes to use here, for sure. Soup pot, there's another breast, ready to rock and roll. Feel for anything that shouldn't be sticking out. Feels pretty good. Okay, now we'll switch sides. And there's your breast. Looks fantastic. I like to make three quarter of an inch slices. Then people can do with it what they want. If you want to make a sandwich with it, you can slice it again, or you can make thick sandwiches, whatever you want to do. Time. 17, almost 18. Oh, we might get it under 20. <laughs> Maybe. I'm definitely not as proficient as these guys that do it all the time, but if you want to get it done, this will get it done. All right, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to take my knife underneath it so it can hold it. And then we'll bring it over here and place it on the end of that platter. Some beautiful slices of turkey right there. And then we'll do the same thing on this guy, right? Except this skin's really gonna try to come off on me. It looks good, doesn't it, Em? Mm hmm If cutting a turkey don't get you hungry, there's something wrong with you. If you're a reject, you better go back and tell God to make you right. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I guess some people may not find this to make them hungry. They might find it as gross, I guess, huh? Imagine vegans. Well, vegans probably be watching the video, I hope. Jeez, why would you put yourself through that? <laughs> so there's some beautiful breast pieces, right? Very moist. Yeah, excellent breast pieces. So we'll take that big breast and we'll put it right there. And see, my platter isn't even big enough. And then you can also chop your wings down. But basically, this meat right here is the bomb. Take that meat off and just eat it. That's the chef's meat. Everything else goes in the soup pot. There's your turkey. It looks great, right, Em? Yeah. You got your two breasts on each side. You got a couple of drumsticks crossing each other. You can take them out and re reposition them to make it look kind of cool. You got your two thighs here, and then you got your 
your wings up there. You can cut them down and put them on. If we had a bigger platter, I would, but hey, at least that gets you through, you know, what did it take, 20 minutes? Mm -hmm. Not too bad. And if it wasn't for the video's sake, I'd probably get this done in 10 minutes. And that's not bad. And it sat for 90 minutes just with tented foil and it's still plenty hot to serve. Plenty hot. So there you go. I hope you learned something or maybe this will make it a little easier on you when you're uh, carving up your next turkey. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and share so more people can see these videos. Uh, have a great Tuesday night and as always, an even better tomorrow. Squatch out.